your name and I'll, I'll make sure to mark that off. My name is Marcy Shepler. I'm number 50. Thank you. You're recognized. Thank you. Thank you, legislative members, for allowing me to speak today. My name is Marcy Shepler, and I am JoJo's mom. On September 6, 2019, I took JoJo to the ER at Cleveland Clinic at Tradition Hospital. JoJo had Down syndrome, autism. He was unable to speak. He had severe intellectual and mental, mental disabilities. He was choking and gagging, running a fever, and had involuntary muscle movements. I begged for treatment for Joseph to get treatment, but he was refused. I asked the charge nurse if he would let Jojo die rather than treat him, and he replied yes. I immediately took Jojo to another hospital where he was found to be in septic shock, and Jojo passed away at the age of 29 years old. Medicare conducted an EMTALA investigation and found against the hospital, citing Cleveland Clinic with its highest sanction of imminent jeopardy, meaning that they placed Joseph's life in peril. Currently, Florida Statute 768.218, the Wrongful Death Act, medical malpractice, d disallows damages for people who are over the age of 25, who have no children, and are, who are not married. But Florida's medical malpractice law represents a complete disconnect from, for people who have severe intellectual and developmental disabilities. Due to his mental age being judged that of a toddler, Jojo was adjudicated by a Florida judge in the guardian advocate laws to be unable to marry and unable to engage in complex relationships. He was unable to have children. He was also unable to engage in any real employment, but his value like that of all of mankind outweighs the worth of a dollar. And Jojo's worth to our family was beyond measure. Parents of adult children with severe developmental disabilities do not celebrate milestones like voting rights or financial freedom or grandchildren. We celebrate toilet training, completing simple chores, or having good days. And most of all, we celebrate the love that these special individuals have to offer. The current medical malpractice law is pure discrimination against people with severe intellectual and developmental disabilities. And more than that, it is cruel, for further marginalizing Florida's most vulnerable citizens. After four years of trying to protect the JoJo's in Florida and asking to abolish 768.218, I am pleased that there is a concentrated effort this year to change the laws. House Bill 129, bought by Senate Representatives Lopez and Beltran, thank you very much, co-sponsored by a par bipartisan group of legislators, Escamani and uh, Amnesty, seeks to abolish in full what has been referred to as the free kill law. As such, House Bill 129 and its companion bill, Senate Bill 442, need no revision and represent the gold standard of what needs to happen. And hopefully those bills will be passed this year. I hope that you all will vote to eliminate this very cruel law. And when I think of what Jesus said is, is what you did to one of the least of my brothers, you did unto me. Do you remember some of the least of your brothers are people with severe intellectual and medical or developmental disabilities who are absolutely unable to meet the criteria of this law? Thank you. Thank you so much, Marcia. Was there any questions or comments? Thank you so much. We appreciate your testimony today.